G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Thanks for being here. Look, we have got some bigger bunny moulds. Do you remember these little guys that I made? They're so cute uh, with my little druzy um, clusters. So today I have found some bigger ones and I'm going to use my bigger druzy clusters, these ones. They're quite high. And because this is quite a deep mold, I think that they should fit nicely. So I'm going to do that. Now, this came in, that was all one piece of six. And um, I didn't want to do six, so I'm just doing just doing the two. That's what they look like on the other side. So, uh, yeah, just cut it off, cut those hard bits off, and I'm going to use those two today. And uh, I thought I would do, instead of doing pink and blue, I'm going to do purple and turquoise see how that goes so I've got some resin here which I'll get that out of the way um, this is the platinum river table resin the deep pour resin now I looked at this and I thought oh I wonder if they'll take half a cup each and then I thought oh maybe they'll take three quarters of a cup each so I made up more resin but I, I probably don't need so much I'll have to find something else to do with it I always open my little bottles away from the, the cup because they have little dried bits everywhere. Let's just start with one. I know it's not going to be enough, but we'll just start with one. And clean that up. <laughs> I don't like mess. <laughs> Ink stains too, so it's good to get it up quickly off your work surface before it stains. All right, now because I'm using the Druzy crystals, um, these little inserts, I molded them from real crystal. I don't like it to be too dark, otherwise you lose that crystally effect. So don't get it too dark is my suggestion. Make sure that you've cleaned that alcohol ink off the sides of your cup, otherwise you get these streaks. Probably want it a little bit darker than that. I mean, it looks darker in there because it's a whole cup. But look on that, see? You can't even see it. So I don't think I need a whole drop. I think I probably need like a half a drop, which is really tricky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drop it on there. Get off. And then I can dab it onto my paper towel and then over there. <laughs> And then what, that way I'm only getting half a drop and we'll see how that goes. All right, so this one is the octopus fluids in plum. And this one is ranger alcohol inks in turquoise. I don't, I'll put another couple in there. I don't have um, a purple in the ranger. But I do really like this aqua. I think it's really pretty shade. I hope that's not too dark now. Hmm, this one can have just like another half a drop. And different brands are different strengths. So they're, they, they're not all going to be the same. You can't put one drop of one brand and a drop of the other brand because they're just, they're just not the same. And some brands are more concentrated than others, like the Let's Resin Concentrated inks. They're really concentrated, and you probably use half a drop in all this. Okay, so that's 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 looking good. Now, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to pop pop that in there, like that, and that one in there, like that, and I am going to put these in my vacuum chamber. Um, because I've got one and you know I might as well use it so and it's not it's not necessarily the resin that I'm trying to get the bubbles out of it's the it's the druzy that I'm trying to get the bubbles out of if you don't have a vacuum chamber you could just drop that druzy in there anyway um, and just let the bubbles come to the surface this is a really um, this, this resin takes like two days to cure so you know, you can you can you can spend a bit of time waiting for your bubbles to come up as well. So 
they will come to the surface so you could just do that if you don't have a vacuum chamber um, I would suggest just using a really really thin deep pour resin for something like this right I'm going to pop these in the chamber for a couple of minutes and uh, I'll be right back okay so that's done I can still see a couple of little bubbles in there the only issue with I mean vacuum chambers are great but the silicone itself is porous so the vacuum chamber is going to want to suck all the air out of the silicone as well because you know it's it's a little bit porous so at some stage you've got to say okay enough's enough I can't keep pouring it um, now because I'm going to put these in in here because if I want it's going to take two days to cure and if I want to move them and I do this to pick them up <laughs> it's going to make a terrible mess so I'm going to put them in here that way if I want to pick them up and move them, if I want to use my bench here to do another video, which I will, I can do that, okay, without having to spill anything. So make sure they're where you want them. This is just a cake tin and I put some plastic in it just so, you know, if I do spill, it's not going to ruin my cake tin. So that's that there. All right, now move everything out of the way, get my gloves back on. The other thing you could do if you don't have a vacuum chamber is put some resin on your hand, put the druzy um, cluster in it and just squish it, you know, push all that resin into the little crevices and cracks and things. So you could do that as well. So there's a couple of different things you could do with it. All right. Now I'm going to pour onto my stick so that I'm not making like a splashing and hopefully that will also prevent bubbles. Now I'm going to have to just be careful not to fill it all the way because I need to allow some room for my little druzy. Not sure how much. <laughs> I think at one time I, I did it and I, I filled it up too much and it all kind of oozed out. So I've just got to be careful how much room I leave. And then the same with this one. onto my stick hopefully they'll float my others have all floated the druzy clusters so hopefully they'll float oops you're a bit full aren't you yes it's about half a centimeter from the top maybe this one needs more You can always add more afterwards. You don't have to, you know, get it exactly right first time. All right, now, this is going to be the tricky little part, isn't it? I'm going to use my little tweezers. Let's see if I can... I might just have to get my fingers in there, but... They don't open very wide. <laughs> they don't. And it's slippery, so I might not... Ah, I've got it. Okay, but now what do I do with it? <laughs> oh gosh. All right, I'm going to try and wipe the back a bit. Now, I was thinking, look, I'm just going to hold it. Um, I was thinking, see, that's more of a point that way. It's more rounded that way, so I'm going to put it in face first that way. So we're all covered in resin that way, like underneath. It's soaked in resin. Let's hope it's not going to overflow. Oh my god. Oh, just. Just fits. I'll take a little bit out of this one. I'm a bit worried now. You can always add a bit more. Do it gently so that you don't make bubbles. Oh, that was just a fluke, wasn't it? Okay, I've got a little bit left there. I have got something that I want to do with a little bit of leftover resin so all right I'm not even going to worry about those tweezers I'm just going to grab it same thing it's got a little bit more of a pointed end on that side I'm just going to wipe the resin off and get out of the way cup ease it in ah I tipped it in a little bit on that side 
don't think it matters. Oh gosh, just so I took some out. Just gonna dip that in there and just see if I can get that little bit of resin off the top like that. It's still a little bit full. I'm just going to dip my paper towel across the surface and it'll just pick up a tiny bit. It's a good way to take out just a little bit of resin is just to dip your paper towel into it. Okay, how's that looking? This one still looks more full. You can see a couple of tiny little bubbles there that I, I made when I was putting the paper towel in. Take out a tiny little bit more on each. Not too much though, like I do want them to kind of dome, otherwise you get that sharp lip. All right, so that's it. Now, don't be tempted to try and get these little drops of resin off the top. It, it's fine, just leave them because you'll probably end up poking it down and then you'll be in a world of hurt. So just, they'll be fine. Uh, once the resin's cured, we'll be able to pick them off. So basically, um, that's it. Hopefully I don't have bubbles in there. I can't see any, but that's it. So we'll just leave it in there. If I do need to move it out of the way, then I can pick it up in that. Right, so it's going to be a long two days now before I can get these out. But, um, yeah, <laughs> I'll see you when it's time to unmold them and hopefully, hopefully they're going to look really pretty. Right, oh, so it's been a couple of days. These are set, so I can pick them up now without them all dripping into the middle. So I'll pop that away next time okay let's see how we go we can pick these little pieces off like so if we want to otherwise you can just clean them up afterwards but I might as well do them now put those on a bit of paper towel okay here we go so we've got a teal or aqua and um, this little pale purple one uh, Oh, look, you guys. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's matte. I didn't even realise because when I did these two, they were shiny. Oh, how frustrating. That's okay. That's okay. I can fix this. I can fix this. Not a problem. I do prefer the shiny look myself. Look at that. It's a gorgeous little bunny, though. Thing, it's kind of left that little I don't know if it's picking it up that little line there I can see and that's from assuming it's this here it's um you know dented I mean they're for I think it's for moose or something it's not made for resin so but never mind I think yeah I think that's what it is I can see it you might not be able to see it but I can see it all right so that's that one let's do the little purpley one next but it seems to come out well but I will show you how to make them glossy okay and we're not gonna put resin on them because you know it's just gonna fall right off you can put resin on something that's um, you know flat if you want a top coat but when it's like this it's just it's too difficult to um, coat with resin I'm liking the height of those look at that Oh my gosh. All right, let's have a look. I'm kind of thinking I should leave these until we do the, the shiny. What do you think? Yeah, all right. Now let's, let's leave it because I want to get the full effect of the shiny outside, okay? So, oh, look, I cut my finger. Resin's sharp. It's looking a bit infected. <laughs> Resin edges are sharp. You have to be careful. This this is a dangerous hobby. All right, um, I'm going to go and get organised. Actually, come with me. Well, come come with me. Come with me. So that's what they look like at the moment. They're not they're not shiny. There's the other one. So we want them shiny. Otherwise, we're not going to see the full druzy effect. We're just not. So, um, I know I've shown you my studio before. A lot of people like to see it. There's my mica powders over here on the, the side, organized in 
color <laughs> organized in color in their colors so that's them resins um paint scales canvases um cups music I listen to music when i'm working all right now this is what we're looking for here up here um, 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 this one, this is what we're going to use, this is what we're going to use, gloss, clear coat, dulux, so I'm going to organize that, I'm going to take that outside, this is my little, this is my box, my well used box i think it's a pizza box actually <laughs> and um i just put my things inside it um and then um, i spray them so i'll take that outside and we are going to spray paint these little ones okay all right so i'm outside <laughs> just under my patio i've been shaking this for a few minutes a little bit tricky trying to do this one-handed but i'll i'll do my best um, I'm just going to go do a bit of a spray, a bit of a spray, like so, oops, turn it around and do the backs of them. You don't want to do it too thick because it can leave water drops like marks, drips and things, so I'll do a a light little spray and then I'll come back in an hour. Gotta wait an hour. I'll come back and do another coat. It's looking pretty good already. Alright. Um, now it's a good idea to get some kind of a net or something to put over the top so that you don't get bugs and leaves and <laughs> dust and things on them. Um, but yeah, looking better already. I don't know whether we'll get clear clear like you know like a glass clear but we'll see we'll do a couple of coats so i'm going to do another coat and then when they dry i'll bring you back inside and we will take the little druzy center out right so they've had their two coats i waited an hour after the first coat and then did a second coat and uh i think that'll do i could probably do a third one but the haziness or the frostiness of it's gone so let's take these out I can always go back and do another coat if I decide I want them a little bit more shimmery but I don't know that it'll make any difference look at that look at that I wonder if my little candle will fit in there I wonder I wonder I'm gonna get the other one out as well and then we'll turn them both over and have a look see what they look like now this particular insert um, is in my, hmm, let's see, I think it's in my, oh, it's in my set of three. Yes, because I've got eight small ones, a set of four sort of medium. There's a set of three. They're not, there's, well, there's different shapes, different, um, three different ones. So, but they're similar. That's my, that's my set of three. I will link those um, down in the description if you want to get yourself a set or two if you get two then you've got two the same <laughs> all right let's turn them over and see what we've got hey okay here we go hopefully they're going to look really pretty oh yes look at that wow look at that that is so good it's not as crystal clear as this is um, because the mold wasn't clear but it's still it's still really good just not as as good as um with the the clear mold i don't think it would get any better if i did another coat because the bones of the mold are still you know matte not shiny so don't think it'll get any better than that now with these ones I did paint their little faces with black but 
you don't have to you can just you can just leave it like that you could do silver if you wanted to is this little tail <laughs> I think it's just cute like that all right let's have a look at the pinky purple one same thing you can look in there it looks really pretty doesn't it and there we go also really good so pretty <laughs> at least that line's gone because of my two coats of spray paint that line that was there has now gone so there you go I wonder if my little light will fit you know these little lights that you probably won't I've taken the top little rubbery bit off it just broke it off and but um, I don't I don't think it'll fit no might have to try and look at getting some smaller ones but this will fit with my skull I will be doing it oh look <laughs> look at that how cool is that that's really pretty just need a smaller one I wonder if you can get smaller ones of these little little candles little battery operated candles look how sweet that is that looks really pretty doesn't it Do the pink one or oh, purple one. Look at that. If you wanted to, you could, you know, you know the um, like little baby fairy lights. You could just wind it up inside if you wanted to, and just shove it in there. You could, or try and find a smaller one of those. I don't know if they come smaller. Oh, I'm going to have to do some research, aren't I? But um, I actually bought these ones to go into the skull and my bunny and the snail, things like that, like big things. So there they are. There they are. Hopefully you've enjoyed my little video. Hopefully you've learnt something. Make sure that your moulds are shiny and not matte. But you can't always tell, can you? Not always. When you're buying online, like I didn't know when I was buying it online, um, that it wasn't shiny. No, you can't tell these things. And they don't say, hey, it's not shiny. They just advertise their mold and that's it so you don't really know all right so there it is oh I'll put a little photo up at the end of the video of my grandson Theo <laughs> um, taken on um, Good Friday whole family got together so I'll pop that up at the end he's such a cute little guy <laughs> all right thanks for watching everyone happy Easter and uh, I'll see you all real soon for the next video take care love you all bye for now